Hey guys, this is a pair of uh, programs I wrote to play while I was playing with the XB. Here's another video you can look on my channel to see the actual hardware. But uh, all it does is basically there's a sender app that will look at the button on the fast domino. And when you press the button, it will actually send the word on through the serial port. And when you release it, it will send the word off through the serial port. And on the other side is a Netduino. So one side, the sender is a fast domino, and the receiver is a Netduino. And actually, none of these, I mean, any of these could be done with uh, an Arduino or some other microcontroller because all it's doing is basically communicating using a serial port. Okay, on the other end, on the receiver side, it will basically keep on watching the serial port data in, and when it sees the word on, it will turn the light on and when it's just a word off it'll turn the light off so let's get uh, into a little closer detail here I'm back on the sender um, on the fast domino and we are basically having a global serial port and a global output port for the LED this is only used for basically feedback so when I press it on the sender I could see the light on the sender to make sure that it's actually being pressed Okay, let's go to main. Um, we instantiate the serial port on COM1 at 9600 baud because that's what the default speed of the XB. I'm sure you can crank this up and uh, run the configuration on the XB, but I want to keep this as simple as possible, so I take the default speed. So we open the serial port at that using that configuration, and then we just sit and wait for the interrupt coming on the uh, button. So the button will be the built-in button. This is the glitch filter turned off. We want to pull up resistor and we want both sides of the edge. You know when it's being pressed, actually it being pressed I think it's went down. So when you know normally it's uh, high and then when it's being pressed it goes down to zero. And then when it's released it goes back up and we want both of those edges. Um, when it's being pressed and when it's released it will create an interrupt. And when an interrupt is generated by the button we call this little method and uh, data 2 is going to tell you whether it's going down or going up on the edge of the button press and if it is being pressed we turn the light on and if it is not being pressed we turn the light off and if it is being pressed we set the command string to the word on and a carriage return and um, the carriage return is needed such that we know when the command is completed because we're going to keep on watching all the characters until we had a return and we take whatever is before that as the command so it will, this will be either on with a carriage return or off with a carriage return and we take that string convert them into an array of bytes because that's what the serial port wants I mean well, that's what the write command wants so we'll send that on from the beginning of the buffer that many characters that's it so that sends it out so let's go look at the other end on the other end it's a little bit longer but still not that complicated and you can see this is being ran on a Netduino uh, but the program actually is the same uh, I actually pasted this from a fast panda version just because I need to write it on a panda because I don't have to fast domino but and I said like, yeah it'd be cool to run this on another uh, brand altogether and sure enough it works just fine the only thing I had to change are these includes uh, it added I have to add this one and this was already uh, included on a default brand new Netduino um, sample project okay same thing this is a command buffer. Okay, I have two different buffers here. There's the buffer that is actually all the characters coming in. That's this one. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's, this is the command buffer. There's another buffer which is right here. That is the characters coming in. This one is only com containing the command itself. So I set it to three because the longest one is OFF without a return because when it Oh, we'll come back to that. So OFS is also the longest one. If you need some longer character, longer command, increase this. Okay, we get an array of bytes. 
we have a counter. Basically, every time we get a character, we increment that so we can fill this buffer. Uh, this is the output LED, pretty self-explanatory. It's onboard LED, default it to off. Okay, same thing, same thing. Um, we are on the other end, we are on the receiver, but um, I'm using the default again. This is because I don't want to mess up with the uh, configuration of the XP. And now, on the other side, we are going to be receiving data from the serial port. So whenever there is data coming in, call this little method. Oh, and then you just wait forever because we don't have anything else to do but wait for the data to come in. So when the data comes in, I actually could have course this, but I'm going to just use the global serial port. Okay, so data coming in ask how many bytes there are. We create a local serial buffer for all the characters that's coming in. This is probably one most of the time. But if it comes in more than one, we read the whole thing into the local serial buffer. And then what I do is I walk through every character here. This is probably more complicated than necessary for such a simple thing, but it makes it really easy to read that I'm ignoring the line feed right here. So. Basically, if it is not a line feed or it's current return, we just keep on collecting it into the command string and incrementing the index here. So we keep on just accumulating it, make sure that we are not overflowing the buffer. And then when it hits the last character, which is a carriage return, we take whatever command that we've collected so far and then we pass it to this perform command, which is basically, it says if it is on, turn the light on, if it's off, turn the light off. And then we perform, after we perform that character, I mean that, that command, uh, I clear this because uh, the off is shorter than the on, otherwise it will say O-F-O. -O. Um, no, yeah, no, O-N-F. So we don't want that. And so we clear it, and then we set the command setting back to zero. So for the next time, we'll start over at the, uh, at the collecting at the buffer, command buffer zero. And I think that's everything. So data comes in, gets collected. When it that's the end, it performs it, and it turns the light on and off. Pretty simple. Uh, I think that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.